Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot to Essentials. And uh, in this video, we are going to talk about something related to exceptions, transactions. So, at some point in time, you will need to save two or more objects. And you would like that uh, when something happens, you will just roll back the whole thing. You don't want, for example, imagine that you are saving anime and then some character that's inside anime. And uh, if something happens with the character, you don't want that anime like saved so how can we set transactions uh, with spring boot in spring in general well the first thing before we start doing this you have to check if your database is correctly set unfortunately that cannot be done through IntelliJ or at least I don't know how if you know it please uh, let me know there uh, and what we are going to do here it's uh, let me quit because it looks uh, like it's buggy I'm, I'm gonna check the table because sometimes I think this is more for like Windows users. If your table is not like inodb, you won't have transaction happening. So for that, just uh, select your table and then go to table inspector. And um, if you go, bum, bum, bum. Okay, so this is uh, not happening. Let me check uh, something else. Go to not table inspector, alter table. Okay, by going to alter table, make sure the engine of your table is uh, inodb. I think uh, Windows usually creates like my ISM. I'm not sure. So if you have this one, this is not uh, transactional. So make sure that you have this one. If you have this one and you didn't change any property, make sure that you are adding uh, a Hibernate uh, uh, dialect with InnoDB. Okay, so let's um, simulate a problem. I'm here at the anime service save. And let's say that, uh, well, we are saving this anime and suddenly something happens. So for example, Let's uh, add something here, if true, throw new runtime exception, that code. And just add this guy here to this local variable, save, and then return save. So if something happens, we would like to roll back because what happens for example if you save it and then something happens you return an error to the user and then the user try again and then it goes so you would have like two rows with the same data in the database but there are two different rows because the ids are different so let's see if we do this and let's start the service and go to postman and we go to the post request and let's change here to something more classic one piece and now like this so we have internal server error bad code but then when i come here and i search boom i have my field there in the database so this is pretty bad so let's uh, delete okay how can we avoid that well, it's pretty simple. You just have to use one annotation at transaction and from Spring Framework, not JavaX transaction. So just by adding this annotation, we are telling Spring to keep this entire method transactional. So I'm not sure if you have two more methods you have to add them. We can try here and see how that works. So I have here this and uh, I'm going back. I will try again to save uh, one piece. I got the same error and then I will try and see here. As you can see, it uh, the transaction was rolled back. So we don't have that role in the database. Now let's say that we are trying to delete as well. So delete ID and the ID. Let's uh, do it berserk. Uh, we do have the ID here and it's two. So this is what uh, I'm trying to do. As you can see, the service refreshed. Let's try again. I'm trying to save one piece. And let's see. Okay, so this whole method, including the delete, it's on a transaction. So this is how you 
actually this is how you should have your services because if something bad happens you would like the the user or whoever is calling your service to know that uh, hey um i know that uh, because something happened my data was not uh, inserted now just one tiny thing this only happens when you have runtime exceptions not the uh, runtime itself but the uh, runtime and its uh, children if you have checked exception and if we go to controller and we just add here froze exception look what is going to happen and i'm going to remove the delete too because I'm, i know that it will delete uh, i'm gonna reboot the application and now what i'm doing i just changed the exception now it's not a runtime anymore it's a checked exception and i'm still with transactional now i am going to insert as you can see here we only have one i'm going to insert we do have the exception and the transaction and we do have the value so when you have checked exception make sure that you use this annotation if you see here you have several options and uh, we can use one row black for class so let's use it here row back for class name and then we have exception dot class okay that's uh, no rollback no actually we would like to roll back for exception class now that we have this one let's uh, reboot the application uh we'll delete number six just to make sure that we do have the value delete uh, number six make sure that we don't have anything and then we try to insert one piece again and now we don't have one piece anymore so this is the only catch that you should be aware so this is it for this class i'm going to remove because i don't want this here this is pretty bad i will leave transaction transaction now there i'm going to remove this exception let's try to leave the code at least a bit pretty since this is just a training okay just make sure that you do have this when you are trying to work with something that will change the state of your database this is it for this class see you in the next video bye